People are elected to Parliament because of their membership of political parties. Very rarely are MPs elected independent of a political party. So it's the big parties, in our case the Labour Party, the Conservative Party and the Liberal Democrat Party, that dominate Parliament. And between them they have over 80% of the seats. But there are other parties that obviously have an influence and at this particular time, where no party has an overall majority, clearly the minor parties are very important. The items on the political manifesto on which your party has been elected will then be translated into legislative form and bills will be introduced in Parliament which will subsequently become laws of the land. Now, you are not unreasonably expected by your party to support that legislation. And in order to ensure that that general support is giving, given, we have what is called a whipping system. Now this is a rather uh, interesting uh, terminology which dates from the 18th century hunting field, when those who went out on horses following the hounds to hunt the fox or the deer uh, had officials who rode certain horses who whipped in the field to make sure that everybody was kept together in the hunting pack. And uh, so there came to be a system where those who were the party organisers in Parliament were known as the whips, and they still are to this day. And the whips are the people whose duty it is to try and ensure that the maximum vote is obtained for the party on whatever the issue under discussion is. And the whip is also the name that is given to the piece of paper which goes every week to every member of the House of Commons, and indeed, for that matter, to every member of the House of Lords. And the whip comes to you and it tells you what the business of the day will, of the week will be. And if the business is underlined by one line, it means we don't expect a vote on this. And if there is a vote, you know, please yourself how you vote. It doesn't really matter. And that is the case on many issues of conscience sometimes terribly important issues, but they are not party political issues. Hunting, actually, is one of those, and so, for instance, is, uh, is abortion, the death penalty. Crucially important issues, but they're not party political issues, and the party whip does not tell you how to vote. If it's an important matter, it will be underlined twice, and it will say divisions are expected, and your, your presence is requested. You're supposed to turn up unless you have been able to make an arrangement not to be there. And if it's underlined three times, so-called three-line whip, then you've jolly well got to be there. And it doesn't tell you you've got to vote in that particular lobby, lobby being the name of the part of the building you go in to, to register your vote, but it means you are jolly well expected to be there. So that's how it's done. And um, by and large, it works tolerably well.